Welcome to chemistryonline.guru. Today we will discuss about group displacement law. To determine the position of new element form after the emission of alpha and beta particles, Sodi, Fazon and Russell. Sodi, Fazon and Russell give a law. This law is known as group displacement law. According to this law, if an alpha particle is emitted, if an alpha particle is emitted, then by radioactive element the atomic number of new element we can say daughter element formed is decreased by two units and atomic weight is decreased by four units. Therefore, the position of new element is displaced by two groups towards left in the periodic table. Suppose element is A, its atomic number is Z and atomic weight is M. If alpha particle is emitted, that is 2He4 alpha particle, then atomic number is decreased by 2 and atomic weight is decreased by 4. The new element, suppose new element is C. If A is present in fifth group of the periodic table, then C must be in third group. Second important part of this law is, if a beta particle is emitted, by a radioactive element, The atomic number, daughter element or new element is increased by one unit. And no change in atomic mass. Position of new element is displaced by one group towards right in the periodic table. For example, A is an element Z is atomic number and M is atomic weight. If one beta particle is emitted, this is beta particle, then 
then atomic number is increased by one unit and there is no change in mass number if a is present in fourth group then c must be in fifth group third important point is if one alpha and two beta particles are emitted from the radioactive element then daughter element is is an isotope of parent element because daughter and parent element have same atomic number hence according to group displacement law position of parent and daughter element remains same in periodic table to alpha in to beta and one alpha this is beta particle this is alpha particle then atomic number is decreased by 2 by alpha and increased by 2 by beta so atomic number remain same and atomic weight there is no change in atomic weight by the emission of beta particle but atomic number is decreased by 4 by the emission of alpha particle so element remain same because atomic number is the same so both are isotopes one important thing is this rule is not applicable on lanthanides and actinides we know lanthanides and actinides are f block elements now one important question is 84 polonium 215 emits an alpha particle 5 find the position of new element in the periodic table polonium is present in sixth group of periodic table it is 4 polonium atomic weight is 215 if it emits one alpha particle then atomic number of new element is decreased by 2 and atomic weight is decreased by 4 units then 82 is pb atomic number 82 if polonium is present in sixth group of periodic table then lead must be in fourth group so new element formed 82 pb211 is present in fourth group one important question find the position of y question is 83 x 
209. It emits one alpha particle, then we get y. It emits one beta particle, then we get z. X is present in fifth group of periodic table. Then find the position of y and z in periodic table. eighty three x two zero nine if one alpha particle is emitted then atomic number is decreased by two so it becomes eighty one and atomic weight is decreased by four unit that is two zero five if one beta particle is emitted then atomic number is increased by 1 unit and there is no change in atomic weight. If x is present in fifth group, then y must be in third group, two group towards left in periodic table. When one beta particle is emitted, then one group towards right. So Z must be in fourth group. The position of Y is in third group of periodic table and Z in fourth group of periodic table. If you like this video, then like, share and comment this video. For more articles on chemistry, please visit our site chemistryonline.guru. Thank you.